everyone. It is me, Che Bomb, Randy, in the flesh, and I'm here with a reorganizing video. This, wow, my mom just conveniently wants to like bang pots and pans while I start my video. But before I get into things, while she's doing that, I'll take the opportunity to say that my allergies are really acting up today, and I only have one allergy pill left, which I'm going to save tomorrow for work, so if my, like, if I sound stuffy and, like, sick, which I know I do, just know it's allergies, like, it's peak allergy season right now. Anyways, this is my last video with this setup. Well, not with this setup, because my setup will probably look identical in my new apartment, but this is my last time filming in my house with my parents before I move out into an apartment of my own, and I'm so freaking excited. Not to say that I'm never gonna film her ever because I'll probably come back and forth, but yeah, I'm so excited. I am going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into what y'all are here for. The reason why I'm filming this reorganizing video, I'm just starting with these two binders. If I get to touch base with like another binder, that would be great, but I just pulled out these two binders because a lot of my binders are in my boxes right now. This whole thing is filled to the brim. Like, this is what I use to store my photo cards now. And I just don't want to, like, potentially lose any photo cards while I'm moving. So that is why I'm going ahead and putting some of them away. I will sit. I don't think I'm going to finish tonight because, uh, wow, it's two minutes and I've been talking for, like, a really fucking long time. But I will say I'm not sure if I'm going to finish tonight because I think I think I only have like 13 nine pocket pages left and as y'all can see I am definitely going to need more than that. I guess we'll just start with Stacy and then we'll get into TXT. Stacy announced their comeback. I am so excited. I definitely consider them one of my ults, especially after the last era, like ASAP era. So, okay, I found my sleeves, but um, let's go ahead and take all of my Stacy cards out. I'm so excited because I finally got my hands on this Sam Apple Music PC, which is like insanely expensive. I don't even, oh, why did I think she went up there? Sorry, she goes down here. I'm gonna need to move my binder over here, like in the center, I'm sorry. It's just too far if I put it over there, but I'm so excited because this card is like stupid expensive because it is like one of their first pops. I feel like I've said that so many times, but like, um, it was their first pop, like, I feel like before they even debuted, so, um, yeah, it's, like, expensive. I got this for, like, probably $70, which I know is, like, insane. I know a lot of y'all are like, what the fuck, you paid $70 for a photo card, and yes, I did, unfortunately. I do have this zoom in on the way. It's just, like, sitting at my proxies, uh, like, address right now, so... Then we have, uh, I believe this is Market Shop, yes, so I finally completed this set, and then the last set that I have to complete is, ah, is the With Fans set, or a what, I can't remember which one it is. I'm so excited to finally complete this, because it is one of the, like, more expensive sets, so then we move on to a SAP era now. I am debating if I want to put these G Market cards in here because I don't want to give them like their own page and these are like all the same outfits. I would put this here because Say and Jay, you know, and then Isa and Suman because they're both right here. <laughs> And then I would have to put Yoon and Shan up here by default, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know, like, I kind of don't hate it. Maybe it would make more sense if I just put all of these cards over here and then put the units on the side. Yeah, that probably makes a lot more sense. Yeah, okay, I think I like this better, so we will go ahead and do that. And then we get into all the random ASAP merch. I was like really surprised when they did a merch drop for this stuff. So I honestly can't remember which photo card sets are which, but I believe this is the set if you spent 80,000 won or something. Sam, this set is really cute. Um, 
I don't know, like, I'm not a fan of the other merch cards aside from the perfume set because they're just all photo shoot cards, which y'all know how I feel about photo shoot cards, but ironically, like, they're all, like, my fave of joy photo cards, so, um, anyway, Stacey's coming back. I'm so friggin' excited because the highlight medley and they sound so good. Ugh, Stacey never disappoints. I am kind of frustrated that Stacey decided they wanted to come back now because I have to deal with, where the fuck did I put my sleeves? Stacey, TXT, Red Velvet, and Itzy all wanna come back like at the same time. And which is good for me because that means that uh, I won't have to worry about comebacks for a while. But like, ugh, it's just, it's like, why would y'all do me like that? Like, so Queendom era came to an end and I don't know, like, I feel like TXT are still promoting and I don't know if they plan on coming out with anything else because actually they just released like the photo book. I'm so glad that Hyvee has been giving out photo card sets, like I think that's so sexy because I click three numbers now, which I'll get into when I get into my TXT binder. Yeah, these are the perfume cards, the backs are so pretty for this. But anyways, I am so excited. I'm glad to be getting fed, but it's just like a really inconvenient time for me right now because I'm in the process of moving out. I move out like in two days or like technically tomorrow because it's technically like midnight here. And, and you know, like obviously with moving out comes like having to buy furniture and like having to buy like random ass shit that you don't have to buy when you live at home, you know, but. It is time, I'm tired of being here without like having to get into like the nitty gritty and personal details or whatever. <laughs> like y'all don't need that and I don't need my business out on the internet like that anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm just excited to finally be doing this move because it's been a long time coming and I've been wanting to move out for a few years now and it's just so surreal that it's finally happening, so. Yeah, I'm excited. One of my defining characteristics is that I don't have shelves for like my K-pop albums. And I mean, I have like a shelf. Y'all seen my like rear my shelf. Like I have a shelf for all of my signed goodies, but I don't have shelves for like all of my albums, you know? So I'm excited to finally have that and like be able to display everything that like isn't just signed, you know? So, ugh, I already have been mapping out how I want my shelves to come out, but y'all are just gonna have to wait for that video. But knowing me, I'm probably gonna go live, spoil it, and be like, act like y'all don't see anything, and then post my video later. So, uh, yeah, but this is the last set. So we have the binder photo cards, the, oh, no, no, this is the tin photo cards, the binder photo cards, perfume, and then the 80,000 won cards, or was it 50,000? I can't remember, but anyways, Stacy Binder is complete for now. And then we get into my TXT Binder. I don't know, like the binders that I've made for like Stacy and TXT are all really makeshift. Like, I don't know how I feel about this cover, but I really just wanted to go with something simple because for a while I was obsessed with doing decals, which I still think decals are so cute. But it's kind of annoying because whenever you change a binder, you have to buy a new decal, and sometimes decals are like not cheap at all. I have so many TXT cards to put away. I'm trying to grab them out of my bin. It's not coming out, or they're not coming out. This big stack. This is about how many TXT cards I have to put away because I have like a bunch of random cards, and then I picked up another member, and then I also have Freeze. Era. Like, I haven't organized that into my binder yet, so, um, yeah, anyways, I did pick up Huning Kai, and it was, like, a spur-of-the-moment thing, like, I kind of was just going through my cards, and I was like, you know what, like, I have a lot of Huning Kai cards, like, what if I just collected him, and I don't know, I, for those of y'all who have, like, seen my unboxing videos, I don't know if y'all can tell, but, like, I'm kind of obsessed with Huning Kai recently, like, I think Kai is really killing it this past two eras, or these past two eras, um, but I will say I am trying to selectively collect him. Like, 
as much as I want to go back and like click them for everything, TXC is just too expensive to do that. So like I said, I'm trying to be selective and really emphasis on trying because I mean, y'all know me, I have like zero self-control. So we'll see how, you know, that ends up working out. It probably won't, but oh shoot, um, I'm an idiot and this goes here. I do have Kai's VR and AR cards on the way from by E, so it'll be really satisfying because I've always wanted to collect three members of a group so that I could have like a complete row of their cards and just have it go down. Um, but there's just never been like a group that I collected three members for, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just collect his stuff from here on out, like from Fighter Escape era onwards, because. I really don't want to go back, but like Kai is one of those members that he's cheap, so like if I wanted to go back and do all of that stuff, I really could if I wanted to. But for now, I've been joining group orders just for Subin and Bungu, because I know that I can always find Kai's cards later on, you know? So, hate that these cards are horizontal, but I need something to fill the space, but at least the back of the cards are cute, right? So, there's that. Um, Ugh, I want to collect Kai's for these two, but I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. So I don't really have any collecting rules for Kai. Like, I think I'm going to collect his pops here and there if I think they're cute. Um, I'm definitely going to collect Kai for, like, cards that come in sets. So, like, for example, the Season of Greetings cards came in a set. So um, I'll do Supin, Bumkyu, and Kai for that. Yay! So freaking cute. Actually, oh no, I have bunkies of this and it was supposed to be in my Baiyi package whenever I posted like my last Baiyi haul, but for some reason, like it didn't register in my package and it didn't come. So yeah, this is, I think I'm gonna move this over here. It's like, then they're diagonal from each other. You know what I mean? So like, I will say I really do want Kai's cards for this because the him and the yellow hoodie is so cute. Just this whole video is me being like, um, yeah. So I really want to click Kai for this card, but I'm not going to. I shouldn't, right? Literally, like get a personality other than wanting to collect things that you shouldn't collect. <laughs> like, come on. Then we have that. We have a freeze era. I do have a full set of freeze cards, which is exciting. I am just missing one. Subin card for this set, unfortunately, but I do have it on the way from a group order, so I have it, but it's just not here. And it's a really cute card, it's like the one of him in the tan outfit. So sorry, y'all, I haven't filmed one of these in forever, and it, like I feel like I'm having to reach to like freaking Russia to put these cards away. Like, damn, okay, there we go. So then we have the boy cards, which will go down there. And then we have the oh boy and the new version. There we go. So not satisfying yet because I don't have Subin's card, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. I don't remember which set is which, so we're going to guess. That's what we're gonna do. This is Power Station. I think the Power Station cards are probably my fave. There's that. Sorry, this like whole video is just me shuffling through all my cards trying to find them. So, Subin. I think this, yeah, this guy goes down here. This one here. Yay! Oh my god, we finally have a complete set of something in the binder or like a full page. So that is like so sexy, so satisfying. We love to see it. But actually, before this, I want to do pops. So I don't know if I want to collect Yes24. Yes24 just is very interesting. I don't know if I'm like in love with it. So, let's see. Oh my god, and then I have like a bunch of like EGU and all of that coming from Pat, so RIP. Let's do the OS cards first. Oh my god, the bright side to collecting three numbers is that I don't have to use as many sleeves now. Come 
Hi. And then, shall we do... Let's do the Weavers Pops. I have Bum Gues coming from a group order as well. When Bum Gue comes, he'll be in the center, our center king, visual king, we love to see it. And then I have Apple Music Pops, I guess. So we'll put this here. I also have Yes24. I'm not crazy about the Yes24 cards though, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I guess for now we can put them in and then decide later. And then Shoppy. Then I also have Lazada. I bought Kai's from Bai as well, so that'll be in an upcoming package. I think the Lazada pops are just so cute. Um, thank God I secured Sugyu. Bum Bumbin. I don't know what their what their like you know duo name is, but I'll put EGU in here for now. I'll probably have to move it later because there is a EGU round one. But for now, that's what they look like. I don't think I'm gonna click highest for these because I kind of regret collecting these. I remember when I bought these, I was like, these are kind of cute, which I still stand by that decision or whatever, that statement that I think they're cute, but they're not like as cute as I made them out to be like I was just trying to justify my mental illness, so <sighs> I don't know what to do with this page now. Looks like I need to get rid of a set of pops or I need to buy more pops. But you know what we could do here? We could always put <laughs> it's gonna be so random, but I'm gonna put the DVD cards here from the fan meeting or whatever. I forgot what it's called. I finally got my DVD in, so that's exciting. And then we'll do, since I also just got my MOA kit, we'll just put these here. So, it's really weird because Blue Hour was definitely not, you know, anywhere near this era, but whatever. We'll do, oh yeah, so I, I actually got like another, oh let's do fight at the top, but I bought another, or I got my two sets of albums from Aladdin, and the pulls were pretty good to BH, like I pulled Subin set, and I pulled, not Kai set, but I pulled a lot of Subin, so I'm not mad at it, but um, the only card I'm missing is this Bumq, which actually I can't remember if I have on the way, I might. But, yeah, so we have that. Should I put the OS cards down here, or should I do... Yeah, let's just do the OS cards since they come in the album. And then the next page, I'll do the, what's it called, the jewel case cards. That, ah, so satisfying, tell me not. I love collecting three members, oh my god. I think that everybody should collect three members for their mental health. That is, that is so opposite, so wrong. I'm so sorry, I encourage y'all. The only card I have is this one, yes. I like, the other cards are coming in trades and then I bought Kai's because Kai's were like cheap, so. And then we'll put the Aladdin pots down here, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Kai's, but actually in place of not having Kai's, we could always just put his inner park card. I don't know if I want to collect inner park. Like, I'm trying to cut down on the pops because they just have so many. This looks so ugly, but it'll do for now. <laughs> it's whatever. And then I have kind of like bigger things to put away. Let's go ahead and do that. I still don't have this Bungu card for some reason, but I do have his um, bag card. Why is like the name, the fan meetings like slipping? Fan live, that's what they're friggin' called. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, so maybe I should add Kai's cards in here as well, but we'll save that for another time. Cause actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put the freeze uniform cards in here. I don't think I wanna collect Kai for like the bigger inclusions. Like I'll collect them for the nine pockets cause it's cute and like I can have a row of like, you know, three, three, three. But I really like how my eight pocket pages are set up now, where like they have 
super on the top and bum you at the bottom. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just leave that like that for now. And then, where is... Okay, these photos, I have bunkies, so I'm gonna put these somewhere else. I love how I said I was gonna, like, talk about, like, personal things in this, and this, like, what this video was just gonna be, like, me rambling and shit, and here I am, just ex explaining everything that I'm doing instead of actually filling y'all in on my life, but, like, I don't know, there isn't really anything to tell y'all, quite frankly, like... Obviously, I've been working, and that's why I haven't been live as often, and I've been trying to figure out this move, but I know that, like, I don't have to explain myself to y'all. Like, I know that y'all understand, um, which I'm forever grateful for, so thank you. Okay, so here is my old binder. It's the binder we're gonna uh, touch base with next. Obviously, I introduced a new person into my collection, and that is Miss Jenny, so... We'll deal with that. I did do a little bit of reorganizing because I didn't like that I had the like Leah's pops mixed in with the group cards. Like I thought it was ugly, so I went ahead and switched that. Let's take these cards out or these placeholders out. So we'll put this in here and then to like you know break up the cards so that they're just like not sitting next to each other. And then we have more hollow pops which is so freaking exciting. Ooh, you know what? Oh yeah, I did leave this spot for Leah's pre-order benefit card. So, I'm all caught up on my Leah collection. And then here we have her hollow pops. So this is with drama round two. And then there's also this one for, from with fans. Yay, oh my God, I freaking adore this page, so kind of obsessed. I am really excited for their comeback. I did not pre-order it though because I'm just gonna wait for the pops to pop up on my CST. So uh, for now, I'm just planning on going to Target and hoping I pull Leah's cover for it. I'm kind of like excited to have member covers for things, which like, I don't know, is that controversial? Like not because I'm like a solo Sam, but because I just love member covers and like the excitement of like trying to pull your bias, you know? Anything, like, the more random things, the better. Which, actually, I kind of regret saying that, but it's whatever. Um, but we have Giselle's Forever card. Kind of bummed because I really want all of the concerts to be together. So I think I might just put this here, and then the next level stuff will go here. And then I'll put, like, her selfie card, this one, on like another page but for now I'm gonna put it in here because I don't have her next level stuff this might be all I have for Giselle right now because I do have her next level stuff I just like it's just not here yet you know so um, I'll deal with that later I do have her a4 though so we'll go ahead and put that in I actually do not have my one pocket pages because I already packed them, which I hate. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here and then remind me that I need to situate this and move her to a different sleeve. So then we get into Woozy. I do have a handful of Woozy cards that I got. Um, I didn't get any more album pieces, but I did get Lucky Draws. I don't know why I did Lucky Draws before I did his um, album cards, but it's whatever. I don't know, my Woozy collection is literally all over the place. I have no system set up right now for this, but that is perfectly okay. And then I have like, well I do have his uh, fan meeting card right here, like from the DVD, but what else do I have? I don't know, I just have like a bunch of random woozy cards on the way, um, but I, the only one I'm missing is this for his lucky draw. So for now, I am just going to stick these down here because I have nowhere else to put them. <laughs> so, there we go. Thanks, Emmy, for sending me this card, by the way. So freaking cute. Then, I think I want to put Jenny before 
floozy. I have so many Jenny photo cards that I don't think I'm gonna be able to put all of them away because I don't think that I have enough pocket pages. Um, I only have four left and I do wanna do a 222 pattern and that is going to take up a lot of pages really quick. So I don't know what kind of sleeves I want to use for Jenny just yet, but like in terms of placeholders. So I don't think I'm gonna do the placeholders today. Put this here. Black Pink has such little cards that it's kind of insane that I've been a fan for so long, but they only have like negative five cards because we already had to kill this love, which was like not too long ago. But um, let's do the pink concept first. We have these two. I don't know, should I not do the 222? No, I like how it looks. So, we'll put this here. And then, how you like that. How do we want to organize these? Let's do these two together, because they're the same look. Then, We'll do these two. Oh my god, this Jenny is literally giving, why did I say giving? It's giving Soyama. We stand. Okay, so this is what she looks like so far. And then we have the album PCs. There's like five PCs for the album, so it's kind of weird, but I am missing one of them because one of them got lost in the mail, which really sucks, but um, it's whatever, like, it's out of my control, so. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do the five pattern. I might just put the other card up here and leave this blank. <laughs> I don't know. I need to watch like somebody who collects black pink and look at their binder and take some tips. But then we have Jenny cards for random things. Um, and I seriously, I think I'm just gonna do this in chronological order. I don't have enough pocket pages for this, unfortunately. So some of the cards are just gonna have to go back into my, um, what's it called, organizer, but it's whatever. Well, I do have this highlight like that pob, and I don't know, I want to click all her pobs, but I haven't been making any progress on that, so it's whatever. That's like the, what's it called, the recurring theme here is it's whatever. <laughs> so, the out, like, the four plus one photo book cards, um, and then I do have Jenny's on the way for that last card. Which concept is that? The how you like that concept. Oh, that card is so freaking pretty. So you know what I'm gonna do? Since I don't have this card yet, I'm gonna revisit. I just wanna get as much of these cards into my binder as possible. So, just so I don't lose them. So we're going to stick these in here like this. I would, ideally, I would do like a 2 to 2 pattern, but we do not have the space for that. So here she is. And then, oh, but look at how pretty the backs of these cards are. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna save these and set them aside. Then we have the Kill This Love little postcard things, which might be the last thing that I put in here just because I'm probably gonna revisit my Red Velvet Binder. Um, if not in this video, later on when I do complete a lot more of the card sets. But. We'll go ahead and put these in here. These are so stunning. We'll just put them in there like that for now. And I think that's it. If I don't come back and revisit this for my red velvet binder, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here because I don't have any more pocket pages, which is really unfortunate. So I can't even like put my red velvet cards in right now if I wanted to. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. I, I'm, I don't know, like I was just kind of like rambling through this whole thing. It wasn't like as personal as I wanted it to be. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits here and revisit my binder later. 
so thank you everybody so much for watching love you so much and peace out